Hey there, I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video I'll show you how you can create a button that when you click on it, a Google Apps Script automation code gets run or executed. We want to add a button that executes an automation script when we press it. In this demonstration, whatever name is passed in in cell A1 will be greeted by us clicking on the button. In my document, I'm going to click into cell B2, as I just did before, and I'm going to insert the button here. Although you can, after you've created the button, go ahead and move it to where you want to. I'm going to click on insert, then on drawing, and now I'm going to create the button. So I'm going to draw the button, and I'm going to use a shape like so for this. And I'm going to write in greet. Uh, greet, there you go, and let's make this a little bit smaller like so, and uh, here you have the three dots, let's go ahead and align this to the center and also change the color. So this is totally up to you how you want to do this, and let's make the text color white. Good, save and close. So as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and you know just place the button wherever you, you want it to be. I'm going to leave it here. So now I have to create a link between this button and the script that it's supposed to execute. I have my script open here and I've given it the name of greet. So what I have to do now is uh, click on the button, then on the three dots, and then say assign a script and I named my script greet, so I have to make sure of assigning exactly that script name to this button. I click on OK, good. Now, how do I execute it? Well, I just simply click on the button and my script is running. It's asking for authorization. This is the first time that I'm running the script. I allow, there you go. Let me do that again now that it's authorized. Nice to meet you, Jane. Perfect. Good. So that's how we create and assign the script. But what about if I need to, I don't know, let's say I updated my automation script. I've changed the name of the script. So now I have to change also the script that is assigned to the button. Otherwise, the, the two names won't be corresponding. Well, I can't click on the button because that would execute it. What I have to do is I have to right click on the button that will make the three dots appear again. And now I can assign a new script or I could delete it. Um, alt text, uh, very interesting. If you need to make sure that this button or your document is also accessible for people who are using a screen reader because there may be, um, their, their sight might be uh, impaired, then here you can add the alternative text that the screen reader will then read to that person who is accessing your document through the screen reader. Um, I can also go ahead and edit the, the button if I needed to, or it's actually just a drawing, but we're using it as a button. So um, it's right clicking, clicking on the three dots, either edit, delete, assign a script if I've changed the script name, or provide an alternative text. While you're on YouTube, why don't you go out and check out my other Google Apps Script video tutorials? And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about the different apps that are part of Google Workspace and how to automate them with Google Apps Script, and I would not want you to miss out on any of those videos.